continuing with our sounds, we get to the looking at the letters and see how they make syllables. And a syllable is a combination of a consonant and a vowel. B and A is ba. Okay? So first thing to say is that the letter the letter V, although we write it in Spanish, is not pronounced like V as it is in English. This sound V does not exist in Spanish. So whenever you see a V, pronounce it as B. So V is B and B is B. So there is no V. Got it? No V at all. Anywhere, anytime. We stopped that in the 17th century. It's been a little while now. So with that B, the syllables, the syllables are Ba, B, B, Bo, Bu. Also with a V will be the same because there is no V sound. So Ba, B, B, Bo, Bu. Ba and Ba. B, 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 Bo, Bo, Bu, Bu. Exactly the same. There is no V anywhere in Spanish. Although we write it, we don't pronounce it. We pronounce it as B. With the C, K, C, 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 So these are hard C, hard C, K, K, hard, K, hard. So these are hard. And these two are soft, so ka, se, si, ko, ku. Notice that se, 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 si, pardon me, se, si, se, si, se, si. There are three possible combinations of letters that give you the sound se. The C E, the S E, and the Z E. There are three possible combinations of letters that give you the sound C. C I, S I, and Z I. Of course, in Spain, the Z is pronounced, it's not pronounced as as we do in Latin America, it's pronounced in, in, in fact, in Spain and only in Spain, even this would be pronounced fe. In Spain they say, say they would say fe, fi, fe, fi. But in the colonies, where we are now, se, si, se, si, se, si. Se, 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 C, C, C. Is that clear? Okay. The D, la D. In English, the D is pronounced back here. D, D. You put your tongue in the toothbrush, D, D. But in Spanish, it's pronounced, but used in a different place. It's external. You can see your tongue touching the teeth. Da, D, D. Do, do. Da, D. D, do, do, external, okay? The F is just similar, fa, fe, fi, fo, fu. Make sure you pronounce the vowels correctly. A, e, i, o, u with the F will be fa, fe, fi, fo, fu. Now the G, it's got a similar situation with the hard G and the soft G. This is the hard G. And these are soft. So we say ga, 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 he, he, go, go, hard, 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 soft, soft. Notice how he, 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 and he, this is pronounced the same. The G, E, and J, E give you he, 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 and G, I, and J, I give you he, 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 okay? So ga, He, he, go, go. He, 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 he. The H, there's no worth putting it there because it's always silent. Ignore it. It has no sound ever. Honest, it doesn't. Get it? Honest? A little joke there. Now the J, ha, he, he, ho, hu. Ha, he, he, ho, hu. What the J? Now the K, that's not a Spanish letter. We have words like kilometro, kilogram, all those important words from English. Then we use them. Be ka, ke, ki, ko, ku. Unless the word is a foreign word like kilometro or kilogram, we never use the K. We have for the, for the ka sound, we use se a, ka. For the ke sound, we use q u e, ka, ke, ki, ko, ku.
who, that's how we say those sounds in Spanish. Ca, que, qui, co, cu. So we'll never use the K in Spanish unless it is one of those words like kilogramo or kilometer, or kilogram, kilometer, and all that that come from English. But if it is a Spanish word, we never use a K there. We use ca, que, ti, co, cu. Okay? The L, la, le, li, lo, lu. Double L, it's a z sound. Z, z, z. So, ja, j, g, jo, ju. Notice that the Y, A also have the same sound, exactly the same. Ja, j, g, jo, ju. Ja, ja, j, j, g, g, jo, jo, ju, ju. So, it's the same thing. And speaking of the Y, the Y is semi, it's a semi-consonant. It's not a vowel or a consonant, it's a semi-consonant because it works as one and the other as well. In the initial position, at the beginning of a word, the Y is pronounced J, as in the word Jo. It's a double L, Jo. But if the Y appears at the end of a letter, usually after a vowel, then it's pronounced like a letter E. So, soy, it's E, exactly E. Soy, as in I am, soy, and yo, double. So here the Y evidently is a consonant, and here it is a vowel. So that's what we call a semi-consonant. The M, ma, me, mi, mo, mu. Ma, me, mi, mo, mu. The N, na, ne, ni, no, no. Basically, fairly similar to English. 